want to call for a Ford F-250 that is stuck in the sand down by the entrance to Warner Valley. Brett, what's the weather like? It's about 80 degrees now. We're getting one of our summer storms, and I just love these. It smells good. The temperature is just beautiful. My dad is not with us today. He is right now playing with Robbie and Cletus at the New England 900. Let's go get these guys out. Con, you want to go with the mall like me? No. Come on, double trouble? I'm already trouble enough. We could be like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. <laughs> uh, we saw the vehicle on the way over here. He's just right next to the road. We just had to take a detour to get to him, and we're going to get him out. Any words of encouragement, Rhett? I'm going to tell you guys this, we're getting them out in two-wheel drive. There's no, we're not locking in hubs, we're not putting this thing in four low. It is just straight up two. I think the Morvair can do it in two. We're going to find out. We're going to put it to the test. We're hey. basically Mythbusters. Oh, wait. Spot of the roof of this truck, it is in those bushes straight dead ahead. I don't think you guys can see it, but I can see it, so we're good. Yeah. You know, I've never really been down here exploring like this. What do you think? Oh, oh my boy. goodness. There's a lot more to this than... Jeez. Um, I'm thinking we just pull you straight back and then hook get you back up on top of this and then we can hook on forward and pull well, you out. Well, why don't we just pull forward? Because I don't want to go through those bushes. You want to get the customer call? Yeah. He said that he should be here. So we're gonna look for the customer and we'll update you once we know where he's at. A few minutes later. All right, so the customer's a little bit far out, so we're gonna get set up while we wait. I think we're just gonna go around this. Just go around just like that. All right. I like that. Okay. So now we wait. We're gonna try and get this out in two wheel drive, but I've got somewhere to be, so no fooling around today. We're just gonna get straight to business. What are you doing right now? Just cleaning up what they got here. So that is not a good strap to use. If I had a dead vehicle on relatively easy ground that it'll roll on, I'd hook that up any day. But for pulling it out of something like this, you won't catch me using that ever. Got the keys, get in this thing, get it ready, and then I'm gonna put red in it. Well, that sounds good. So we'll put this into four low. What was it in? Four high. Okay. All right, is the locker on or is it open? It's already out. Little to no gas, let me just pop you out. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, put it in I'm first. a little short for this thing. That thing was a lot taller now it's out of that hole. They're always heavier than I expect them to be. I know it's a full size truck, but good grief, that is just crazy. I love this truck. Brett's a big Ford guy, so he's liking this. Okay, remember just to ease on the throttle when you go. Okay, ready? Go. Stay straight, stay straight. Go for it. Yeah, that's out. Wasn't too bad, got him out. Let's head home. Good Sunday morning. We got a call for a car that is stuck in the sand out here at Sand Hollow in the campground. Today, we got red driving the rig. It's about 86 degrees, a few clouds in the distance. It'll be a good day. So currently, my parents are supposed to be on a plane right now, but there is a shortage of pilots, so they're stuck in Connecticut. We just got an update. We don't have a captain or crew yet. Oh, I didn't know that. We get news every day. We're gonna get these guys out.
All right, we think we found it. Yeah, it looks like them. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna back up to it. No, I think we're gonna pull it out backwards down there. You guys think there's a hitch point on this? Because I don't. Well. So yesterday we did a job. We pulled out a big F-250. And now today we're pulling out one of these cute little cars. Passing the torch. Climb underneath there and see what you can find because I don't know what you're going to hook to. Well, look, watch this. Oh. This. There should be a one of those. That looks way far back in there, though. Want to hook to the tailpipe? There's so much plastic on those ARs. Like, it's just covered in it. Let's get I into... I a spot right here. I Do you have a spot? I think. I'm passing the rope. Okay, you hey, like that? If you're an engineer and you watch our videos, can you please design these cards with better hook points? All right, do you have the keys for the vehicle? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna slowly pull you out. I don't yep. think we'll need to bump at all. No. Yep, it's stuck. Nice, we're out. That was easy. No drama there. Yeah. Okay, you're unhooking it. Yeah. Good thing you're the one tearing down because I'm too short to put those soft shackles back on. Here's your shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Have a good rest of your day. Okay, that was super easy. Just did a dead pull. Red did a great job. Got them out. They're happy. We're happy. We're going to go home and enjoy our day. Good morning. We got a call today for an F-150 that is stuck down by Grandpa's Pond. What's the weather like today? It's about 80 degrees right now. No clouds in the sky. It's a beautiful day. We'll get them out. Last time I was in the Morver, the Morver had about half a tank of fuel in it and we brought it back. I don't know who's taking it since then, but right now it says we're on E. So let's see if we can do this. So we just made it to the customer and they said that their rig is right down the road, like 15 yards. So he said his four wheel drive broke or wasn't working and they can't make it back up this hill. I'm gonna hook on, I'm gonna pull you forward, and then we'll see if we can find a flatter spot or a harder spot, see if we can get you turned around by yourself, and then I'll pull you up out of here. This bump, we cannot hook up to it. There's nowhere to hook, and it's not strong enough, so. Got garbage, pick that up. Just hold your brakes and let me just pull your front end around. All right, so sorry about the filming. Right now it's me and Rhett working. We don't have a cameraman, so we are doing our best here, so bear with us. That is a heavy truck. Axle's broken. Okay, flip around. Okay. 
Okay, let's get out of here. Think the more bear will do it? Because I think it will. did it let's tear this down and we can go home and enjoy our Sunday morning that soft shack was stuck in there we're gonna see if we can get it out it might be compromised oh there we go no it's not hurt we're good Yeah, that. Thank you, you guys are awesome. Sure. Have a good one. Have a good one, you guys, thanks. Yeah, we got that truck out, another one done. Thanks for watching. Love it, love it, love it.